last night I was watching MTV and like they had this chick, Lori Anderson. Oh man. She has some crazy songs, man. Wasn't she like an art critic or something? Or like Yeah, 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 yeah. She wrote children's books, man. Children's books. You have to have a warped mind for that. And Britain has no taste in music. They, they signed her to like a seven year deal. <sighs> Didn't they sign the Beatles? Didn't she invent her own violin? Yeah, man. I'm with alien technology, man. Yeah, man. She, I think she used like zebra tape or something, or, or, or like instead of horse strings, magnetic tape. Hey, dude, and what's the deal with the voice of authority? The voice of authority. Serious man, she's with the aliens. Man, she was like NASA's first artist in residence. Oh, she got the Gish Prize in 2007, a contribution to the beauty of the world and to mankind and the enjoyment of life. Gish is no big deal. I had Gish the other night. Gish is good. So what? I won the gold medal. She was at the Olympics, man. You know, she had that performance called Delusion. She's trying to brainwash us for the aliens, man. Alien? Hey, hey, wait. I've seen an alien once. You calling me an alien? Okay, I'm done. So, silly Pete. Or should I call you by a real name? Martha. Just tell me why I'm here. Don't play that kind of game with me. That's cliche. Sellers. Tell me about sellers. Who's sellers? So she wants to play that game. The cliche. Two can play that game. Don't lie to me. You know who sellers is. Okay, maybe I heard he's a play director, theater director. Whatever you want to call it. That's all I know. And? Word on the street is he teaches social action and moral action at, of the arts in UCLA. Let's see if she knows a little bit about Sellers' past. What was his hobby as a teenager? I think the dude played with puppets. Where did he study? Harvard. Back in 81. My sources say that you also went to Harvard. Did you know Sellers then? We're good friends. Were you there to witness his first play? Yeah. He did Anthony and Cleopatra 
in the swimming pool. From the beginning, sellers always thought outside the box. What three art forms was he interested in before theater? Architecture, food, and film. When did he fall in love with film? His mom took him to Paris when he was a kid. He didn't know a lick of French. I think he told me that's when he fell in love with it. So she knows what kind of language she speak in Paris. Interesting. What's his favorite kind of films? Where else did he study at? India, China, Japan. Let's see what other countries she knows. What countries inspired him by their avant-garde? Avant-garde? What's avant-garde? Avant-garde is a creative group of people who work together for an innovative an application of new ideas and concepts. You know what avant-garde is. Don't play stupid with me. It was Russia, Romania, and the Czech Republic. What was his favorite Russian film? I don't know, man. Don't lie to me. The Mirror. By whom? Tchaikovsky. Uh, the most controversial part of Seller's career? I don't know what you're talking about. Almost every play he did, it was the same issue. You know what I'm talking about. He never followed through with the composer's vision. So, how did he stage Mozart's opera of Marriage of Figaro? It was in the Trump Towers. And Don Giovanni? In East Harlem. He didn't just direct theater. See if you know something about his festivals. What happened to the Adelaide Festival that he was supposed to direct? promoted his own work <laughs> and the artists they got mad <laughs> he used Hitler's face on each of their artists just to show because uh, he showed he wanted to say if Hitler was an artist then the Holocaust would never have happened what other prizes was he awarded would you believe? Four years later, in 2005, he got the Erasmus Prize. And what else? The Gish. The Gish. The Gish. The Gish. The Gish. I should have known. I'm gonna ask him something so personal. And not even Sellers knows the answer. What does Sellers keep on his rooftop? He's a horticulturist, so he, he probably has a garden. Fuck. Fuck. Didn't think you'd know the answer. Think you're all smart, knowing horticulture? 
-hmm. You said that he was into food. So did he eat a lot? The guy's a freak. He only eats once a day. Once a day. This case is much bigger than I expected. We need professionals for this job. <laughs>